Okay, we're back at the project here. Um, I still don't have, it's still going to be a few more days before I get uh, the relay and uh, the little USB to the serial converter that I'm going to use. Um, but in the meantime, I've been working on uh, getting the the power in place to power the the relay board and the Arduino um, and that's been a little bit weird. What I've done, I just to, if you can see here, is I've added, I've cut a hole on the side here and pushed a, uh, a uh, switch in through here. So that switch will be, um, that will be, uh, when you, when I turn that on, that will supply power from this power supply to the Arduino and the relay board. Now the trick with this particular kind of switch is you can't see it yet because I don't have it hooked up but uh, this is lighted all the time so that you can always see where it is and that's a good thing because generally this is going to be out in the dark. Um, so this blue ring there's an LED in there and uh, that will be lit the whole time but in order to do that it has to have constant power um, from the power supply, and, but I also need to make sure that the I want the Arduino to not be powered all the time. So that's you know that's the reason for the switch. So in order to do that, what I've had to do is take the power supply cable here. I cut off the end connector. And I know this is a little bit difficult to see. Um, so there's the negative side and there's the positive side. And what I've done is I've, spl I've uh, spliced on two leads on, onto each side. So that turns two wires into four, basically. I don't know if you can see this here or not. Um... These two wires, with this interesting little connector here, are what will always power the LED. As long as the power supply is plugged in, even if the switch is off, the LED will be on. These two wires will actually run the power when the switch is turned on from the power supply to the Arduino and the relay board. Now, one thing about this is that these kinds of lighted switches, where the light is on all the time, or supposed to be on all the time, they usually come with this little block attached to them. So there's a couple of wires that come off of the switch, off of the LEDs on the switch, and they go through this little circuit board that's in here, and they come out this side. And that is generally set to be, because the switch is designed to be used with 120 volt AC current, but what I'm supplying it is actually, oh, let's see what, 32 volt DC out of the power supply. What you do to make these work is you you unhook this box. Let's see if I've got it open here. Oh, let me get the screwdriver. Oh, and of course, somewhere I dumped the little circuit board that was in there. At any rate, you take the screw when you get the when you get the switch. You take the screw out of the little box. There's a little circuit board in here. Um, you desolder the wires from the circuit board, and then in my case, if I was just supplying 12 volts DC, I could have used a 220 ohm resistor, but because I'm supplying um, 32 volts. What I've done, and you can't see it in here, is inside of here I've put a 620K resistor. What that does is limit the current running through the LED, and that's important because you'll burn it out. So I'm going to go ahead, and, uh, and then what happens here, and I guess let me show you, is th these two sides get connected in here. Let's see if I can do this without... Uh, 
And then, oop. <laughs> Alright. So, one of them goes over here. Somebody's trying to get a hold of me on the phone. Okay. So that side's con that side's connected and then this side. I need something to hold the camera for me while I'm doing this. Okay, there. Now, I'm going to be very careful here because I don't want to electrocute myself. But I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and we should see the LED ring on the switch light up. <clears throat> yep. So... And see, even though the switch is in the off position, we still have it lit. We still have the LED lit. And that will always be the case as long as the power supply has power. So that we can find the switch in the dark. Um, I'm going to... Oh. Now, to get power into this box, um, in order to uh, power all the outlets... I bought a 100-foot uh, uh, extension cord. Uh, give me more than more than enough options to plug it in outside. And what I'm going to do is inside here, I bought this plug. I didn't want to cut the end off of the, off of the extension cord. So what I've done is I bought this this plug, and this is actually a pretty cool little design. All it does is it just pops open. And we put the hot over here, the ground there, and the common there. Um, and I'm just going to wire that up, close it up, put the screws in, and the extension cord will come up through one of the holes here and just plug directly into this. And then the wires from here will go into powering uh, the, the different sockets and the, and the, and the boards. So that's it for now.